everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got another Scrap It video, but this time I've combined 10 cards into, I think it's 10, might even be a bit more actually, into one video. I just put a movie on. I had all these scraps from the Butterfly Kisses collection and I just thought I would record it all and then do a voiceover. So hopefully this will just give some of you some inspiration and some ideas on what you can do with the scraps from that collection, but also any scraps that you might have. And if anybody's new to the channel here, I do have a scraps playlist and I will add this to it along with the ones that are already there if you want to get some more inspiration. So most of the cards that I'm working on are a five by seven, but you can add these you know patterns designs techniques to any size card that you want it's purely for inspiration and I just thought it'd be nice to put all 10 into the one video so you can see here I've just got all these strips again everything is from scraps the whole pad went I had one uh, sheet of the 8 by 8 left I think it was so you can see I'm just all the different colors obviously they all match so I'm just adding different width strips along the piece of cardstock here and I've left a white gap in between you don't have to you could butt them right up if you wanted to and then I'm using a embossing folder there. That's the one of my favourite bubble 3D ones. It's by Creative Expressions and you can just see that lovely detail you get. So it's really nice to emboss your pattern papers. I know um, some of you may not you know, think to do that, but it's a really nice effect. So maybe give that a go. So I cut that piece down, it would be slightly smaller than the five by seven, probably four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And again, all these pieces that I'm using all match the collection. So the ribbon is part of the set and all of the toppers are from the decoupage kit. So I'm just wrapping some of the matching ribbon through the center there with a little bit of double-sided tape uh, underneath, trim that off, and then I'm gonna add some foam to the back of this piece and just stick it onto my card blank. I think it's a top fold. I've actually sent some of these cards out already, so I don't have them with me. I filmed this a few weeks ago now, so I'm trying to remember the styles that I've done so I can talk through what I've, you know, did for each one. So that's one of the decoupage toppers, the With Love, and then these are just some of the flowers, and I've just, they've already got foam adhesive on them, so I've just popped a couple around. So it's a very, very easy card, but there's so much texture, dimension, it's just really tactile you've got the shine there from the foiling in the papers really easy very quick to do so that was card number one I need to kind of remember the numbers now next I'm using a one inch circle punch any size again you can do and I'm just punching again lots of the scraps there and I'm just gonna I think this piece this is going on to a six by six card actually so there are a few different sizes so this piece here I imagine is going to be five and three quarters square again you could have it five by five four by four it depends how big you want your frame to be really so I've ended up butting them right up together and then I trim this piece down so I think I ended up trimming it to one two three must be about five by five because they're one inch circles so again you might want to overlap yours so they're coming off the card you might not want to have all the perfect circles there like I have then I've used my zigzag embossing folder again you can see that lovely texture that comes through and I just love the shine from the foiling and everything there and then I'm going to do the same with the ribbon so I've just popped a little bit of double-sided tape on the back and then I'm just going to wrap the ribbon through the center there all of the links to the butterfly kisses will be in the description box below so you can see all of that but I know lots of you do have this and then I'm now going to stick that onto the six by six purple card blank it was one that I had in my stash it just happened to match really well and then I'm using one of those decoupage toppers I like to make all the toppers up at the beginning when I get the collection and then they're just ready to go then so that's another top there you can see that lovely bouquet and then I've just got tons of the strips kind of left from the other two cards that I've made or well, the first card actually because I use circles on the second one but just random strips and I I didn't really know where I was going with this one to be honest as I started putting it together it started to look like a starburst or sun rays you know and uh, I just thought yeah let's just keep going with it but I ended up getting quite a lot of bulk in the center so you'll see me in a moment I trim as if I haven't edited it out but I will trim quite a bit off that middle section because if you can imagine there's a lot just constantly kind of overlapping itself like in a spiral pattern and it just was a bit too much with the topper on top so see now I just trim I always like to trim from the back of the card because I just think you get a much nicer neater finish and it's just easy for you to see exactly where you need to cut without you cutting your cardstock so I'm just trimming all that away and then I start playing around with my card blanks and the toppers and things like that so I had another purpley kind of color five by seven pre-made card blanks so I'm using that some more foam on the back of that piece and then stick that one in place so this could be a top fold side fold but you would have seen me very quickly there I just snipped some of that bulk away because you're not going to see any of it that topper covers a lot I just thought it was a really really fun effect and then I'm just playing around with my sentiments there's so many extras that come with the decoupage kit 
along the bottom it tells you the steps to make the initial kind of topper but then you get so many extras plus all the extra toppers that come with this so you can see that one there and all the dimension with that topper and these are all the ones that i mean i've got left here i've got lots of love and you're lovely and i just had loads of them because you get four of each design in the decoupage so i had like eight of the lots of love eight of the special wishes eight of the you're lovely and i was just trying to think of fun ways to use those in you know one card so i had this best wishes topper to start with but i wasn't feeling it i can remember i was doing this one thinking no there's just something not right with this so i still had all of these strips left over so i was thinking about doing maybe some of the strips along the bottom and then just having that kind of a white space along the top with the topper that was where my initial thought process was and then i started introducing these and have them actually as you know those strips they're kind of going to be it's hard to explain it really but they're they're part of the strip so they're going to be in amongst it and i had loads of them so i just thought yeah it's definitely going to work so some of them were over hanging the card i think this wasn't stuck right onto a five by seven card i think this is again a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarter card but like i said it depends what card you like the size you like to make you can put this on anything but can you see that now it's just i was looking at this and i remember thinking oh yeah i like this because <laughs> there was a lot here that i just kind of you know brushed them off the card and thought no i don't like that let's start again so i've tried to keep some of the process in but i'm um, obviously the video would be too long with me making 10 cards here but i really liked this i like the white space in amongst all those strips and then the sentiments and i think those sentiments all work well the special wishes and the lots of love they worked well together so i'm just adding adding i'm just adhering the rest of those and then i've just skipped ahead there and just trimmed off the edges and then i'm just sticking my faceted gems that are also part of the collection within those little curved sections of the sentiments it just seemed to work really well and now i'm just thinking i didn't i stuck this all onto the front of a five by seven card blank so it's just a single layer that one and i started to cut all of these one inch squares using a one inch punch you can see I've got lots of my kind of rubbish along the top kind of right hands kind of corner of the screen that I end up discarding because it's just all the frames and bits and pieces and then kind of the left and top side is still what I'm working through. So again I just cut loads of squares and I was just trying to think of different ways to use them and I quite liked this grid kind of effect and uh, I started off having them similar to the circles so they were kind of like all aligned with each other and then I thought no I'm going to turn them and have more of a diamond effect and yeah i just kept a small little white border and i'm just going to start sticking those down some of them are overhanging i'll just trim that off but i really liked the the effect everything's you know i tried to keep the the pinky colors kind of away from each other the greens you know equally kind of spaced and the the purple colors equally spaced and i think it come together quite well again just trimming off all of those extras there from the back and you can see what a really nice you know design you get and again i'm sticking that onto a pre-made six by six card those those particular colors it was a set and it came from dovecraft again it might still be available so i will um, link it if i can find it now i was playing around with the sentiments before and they just kind of got quite lost on that busy background so that's why i've introduced the white strip there and i've popped that on a bit of foam i also embossed that but i seem to have missed that piece out you probably saw the back of that card then with the embossed effect and then I was just playing around with the wooden butterflies, they're part of the collection, some more of the toppers that come in the decoupage kits, and then just deciding where I'm going to keep those and get that all stuck down. So I'm just adhering the, the main piece there to that 6x6 six six card, top folding, and then I'm just going to add some hot glue with that wooden butterfly. And then I was also playing around with some of the butterflies that I'd missed on that other topper there. But I thought that looked really good. You can just about see the embossing folder through that one there as well. Then I had these three panels, which I'd made ages ago to do a screen fold card with this collection, but there was a delay with the collection and I wanted to make the screen fold cards. So I just had these pre-made pieces ready to go. So there's mirrored card and then the pattern piece there. So I'm using a piece of white card and then I'm embossing it with the patterned piece on top. You'll see me do that in a moment. So I'm just going to adhere that again. It will be, this is a five by seven card. So it'd be a piece of four by four and three quarters, sorry, by six and three quarters. But again, that's a basket weave. And that was the other 3D creative expressions embossing folder. Just looks really nice when you do it over the pattern paper and that mirrored card, you really got to, it just really popped. And then again, just bringing in more of those toppers and just playing around with placement, which ones I wanted to use, more of those faceted gems. You also get bows within the collection as well so i love that tag one but I, I wasn't really feeling it on this particular card so i went for the happy birthday and then that little butterfly in the end and 
then again back to cutting more strips so i was starting to i think what number are we in now i've actually forgot <laughs> i want somebody somebody else to be counting and i just had these thicker strips and i thought let's just play around with these colors this is a six by six top folding card and i'm going to emboss the x cut herringbone folder on that one again just to give it a bit more texture and so originally i was going to have them kind of with those odd colours, the green, well, say odd, they all match, but the greens and just a bit mixed. But this time I changed it and went for just all of those kind of purpley, pinky colours and then uh, added some flag tails to the ends of the strips. They're all overhanging so I could decide what lengths I wanted. And then again, just playing around with all the different sentiments there. This one here is probably my favourite and it's just cutting lots of triangular shapes using another punch that I had. These are old stamping up punches. So I just went through and just pulled out different pieces of paper, you know, patterns. And uh, originally I was just going to have a few of those hexagon shapes on the cardstock, but then I decided to completely fill it and leave a slight white gap again. So I'm just trimming off the excess there after sticking those all down. You can see again that lovely topper. Now I don't think, did I emboss this one? No, I didn't emboss this one. So that is again a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then you've got some puffy stickers there. You've got other stickers from part of the collection. And I just thought they looked really nice in the centers of some of those hexagons. And then I'm onto this one again, just using thin strips, just all random pieces that were left really. Some of them I trimmed down so that I could get the, the kind of effect that I wanted. But again, I don't really know what you would call this design. It was just me playing around really and just kind of enjoying it. That is a piece of embossed. It was a gravel effect, a paper discovery embossing folder. Again, that would be four and three quarters by six and three quarters on that five by seven card blank. So you can see that I've just randomly just placed them. There was no real thought in that. And I've used the Best Wishes topper and then some more of those flowers. So again, lots of texture, lots of dimension on that card. And then that's one another one of those panels that I had already had made up. So I just stuck it in the middle of a five by seven card and added the top up. That's probably the quickest and easiest card out of all of them. And there you have them all together. So we'll just do a run through. So that's the first one there. Love the bubble effect with the embossing folder. And then you've got the one there with all those circles. This one with the diagonal strips and those sentiments added in. Then you've got the starburst. I really like that effect. It really does stand out. Then you've got the lovely diamond shape, like the tiling. And then we've got three, well, there's four of this kind of style, really. That one there I've embossed and I really like that style. Then you've got kind of your flags, just the strips of them. My favourite one, just love that effect. I think it's really cool and it works with very small scraps as well. That one just using random strips and all different lengths. And then there's those three that are similar to that other one, but those weren't embossed, just stuck in the middle. So I hope this quick video has given you some inspiration on what you can do with your scraps and if you've got the butterfly kisses and I'll be back again very soon with more tutorials. Bye.